We are moving right along in this kids room remodel mini series. We have the paint, we have the color changing, recessed lights. Now it's time to do this paneled wall. Let's dive in. My nook here is just shy of four feet. So luckily I will be able to buy an eight foot board and make two rows out of it without having much waste. Okay, now let's make some cuts. My workshop's way out back, so I'll just teleport. So I'm gonna need to cut about 18 of these tongue and groove boards, about 46 and a quarter inches long. Don't worry, I'm gonna fast frame through it. Now I'm not saying anybody should go to jail, but putting stickers like this on these boards should be criminal. Since there are a couple of outlets on this wall, I will need to cut out some holes on my tongue and groove boards. So let's teleport back to the room so we can get our measurements. A little less dramatic this time though. Since there's a groove here, it makes it a little bit harder to measure the height going up the wall. So that's why I brought this wood in here so we can get the exact measurement of where these outlets are. Now that everything is sanded, everything is cut, your holes are cut, your fingers cut, it is time to stain, which we will work on tomorrow. If you haven't seen my video on why you should use pre-stained wood conditioner on all your projects, check it out by clicking the link right up here in the corner. It makes a huge difference. So this right here is called an outlet extender. And what it does is it slips into the hole here for the outlet and basically makes up the width of this paneling. And so that way, when you install an outlet, your outlet is flush with the new wall. Pretty cool, right? I'll show you exactly what it looks like here in the future. So as expected, the last piece up there is a little bit too narrow to fit a full length board. So I'll have to rip some of this up so we can get it to fit in there. But the good thing is I'm putting a piece of trim on the very top so it'll hide any gaps or imperfections in my cut.
And stringing these lights was the very last step to this project. I do have them linked down in the description below to Amazon where I bought them. Same for all the other products that I used in this video. This is actually one of the easiest projects I've done in a long time and I'm blown away by how awesome this actually looks. Ship lapping walls and paneling walls has become very popular again. It just has this cozy feel to it. If you have any questions on this project, drop them down in the comments below. I typically respond to all of my comments, at least the nice ones. A free way for you to support this channel is just by simply clicking that subscribe button down below and then giving this video a thumbs up. It'll mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one in this mini series. Alexa, turn the nursery lights off. Okay.